here I am with this voice recorder, and I'm gonna go and try to get him to confess to murder. Hey. Hey. I was very nervous, and I was afraid um, that he would catch on. So my goal in the beginning of recording Carl was if I could just get him to maybe confess to setting the barn fire, it would at least show his character. Thanks for meeting with me. I know we haven't really worked everything out. I guess I just don't know what you want to discuss. Of course, he completely denied it. I was trying to keep my cool. And I said to him, I can't get back together with you unless you're going to be truthful. He said, it sounds like you want me to say I had something to do with Levi's death. Um, and it was at that moment that I thought, OK, we're not going to go to the barn fire. We're going right to Levi's death. So I just said to him, I would think that if you did do it, you probably did it for me because of all the um, turmoil that Levi put us through as a teenager. And when, once I suggested that, he said, yes, I did it for you. I just wanted to stop all the anguish. I thought it might help us. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have it on tape. I said, tell me how it went that day. Um, was the truck hard to push? And he said, no, it wasn't hard. And he gave me an example of like a wheelbarrow, how a wobbly wheelbarrow would be. I barely even touched the truck and it just fell. It was so surreal to me that I was getting him to talk about this, but also just hearing it come out of his mouth horrified me thinking what Levi must have gone through during those moments. I, I couldn't wait to finish the conversation and um, just run it to uh, the sheriff's office. I gave him an excuse that I needed to drive over to my doctor's office to pick up a prescription, made sure he wasn't following me. Then I drove around and uh, went back to the sheriff's office. They did not hear the confession. It was too noisy, too much background noise. They could hear my questions and my answers to him, but they could not hear what he was saying. And I was horrified. The sheriff's office asked me if I would uh, meet with Carl again, um, only this time wearing their wire. And of course I said yes. <laughs> 